All right, so we put the blade back in, and I put a little mark here on the blade. That's gonna be my alignment mark. Now, the reason I do that, if you watch my blade alignment video, that's gonna be my locator for front to back. So when I align this saw, uh, basically what I'm doing is I'm adjusting the angle of the blade so it's perfectly parallel with the slides. Now, when I made the comment earlier about working to get these bolts centered in that hole, uh, the reason I do that is that you can have this carriage when you install it, you can kind of get it a little cocked on the angle. If you get it close to the center, chances are you're going to be really close on your alignment. You'll have a few minor adjustments and then you'll be done. So basically I'm going to just show you, I'm not going to go through the whole process because we have a video on that, but I'm going to show you basically how I would set this up. So I just hooked the magnetic base up and set it up here on this cross feed and then I can move my, I'm going to move my, I'll get it where it's kind of a good position. Now, I, and I've zeroed. So now, You'll notice I haven't put the feet screw in. There's a reason for that. It's a lot easier to slide this front to back if I don't have to keep grabbing this lever and pulling it up every time. Now, I keep the lever lever off the rail because it kind of will bind a little bit if it's not up, because normally it would be up a little higher when it's on the feed screw. But now I can take this, and uh, as I'm rotating my blade and sliding my carriage back, now I don't grab the carriage by the top because I will be able to move it a little bit if I'm grabbing just by the top. Um, if I grab by the bottom and then slide it, I can see that I'm probably out uh, about a half a, a turn and a half. So as I come back and forth to my spot here, see, where is it at? there it is. So. As I see the indicator turning to the right, that's indicating to me that the blade is leaning this way because the blade is higher in the back. So on this machine, these two adjusting screws, I will loosen up these bolts just a little bit, not a lot, just a little bit. And then I adjust these two screws. If it's high in the back, that means this screw needs to get turned in a little bit and this one out a little bit. It does not take much. So as you're adjusting it, make small adjustments. Uh, follow the method that we show on our alignment video uh, and then your alignment is quickly in. Uh, so that's basically it.